I've got two tables here. I want to match all the teddies in this table with all the bricks on this one, based on their colour. I need a join. When writing a select statement, you put the tables in the from clause. You can place as many tables as you want here, but if that's all you do, you've got a problem. A cross join. This returns every row in each table combined with every row in every other table. This is also known as the Cartesian product. It's exceptionally rare you want to do this. In cases where you do, it's better to explicitly state this with the cross join syntax. This helps future developers know that, yes, a Cartesian product is really what you intended. Note, there are two separate join styles, Oracle and ANSI. With Oracle syntax, all of the join conditions go in the WHERE clause. ANSI has a separate join clause. The WHERE clause is reserved for non-join filters. Which is better is the subject of fierce debate. Personally, I prefer ANSI. This makes it clear what your join conditions are, and you're less likely to accidentally miss a join. Whatever you prefer, I have one overriding piece of advice. Be consistent. Choose one style and stick with it. Otherwise, things get messy. In the vast majority of cases, you only want rows in your output that are related to each other. But there are still several ways you can do this. Let's break them down. The most common type of join is an inner join. This only returns rows from each table where there is a matching row in the other one. If there is no match for a particular row, it's not returned. Though this doesn't mean you only get one copy of each row from your tables. An individual row can still appear multiple times in your results. For example, I have two green toys in this table and three green toys in this one. If I join on colour, then every green row in this table links to every green row in this one. So you get three copies of the green rows from this table and two copies of the green rows from this one. If a row in one table has no matches in the other, it isn't returned. Sometimes you want all the rows from one table, even if there are no matches in the other. To do this, you need an outer join. I want to get all the teddies from this table and, if there are any, bricks of the same colour from this table. There are some teddies that have no bricks of the same colour. To ensure I get all of them, all the teddies, I need to outer join the bricks. Outer joins come in two flavours, left and right. A left join returns all the rows from the tables on the left, and a right join turns all the rows from the tables on the right. My teddies are on the left here, so I need a left join. But what if you want all the bricks and teddies from each table, even if there's no matching colour in the other? To do this, you need a full outer join. This returns all the rows from both tables, but Unlike a Cartesian product, each teddy only links to bricks of the same colour. If there are no colour matches in the other table, the teddy, or brick, appears just once. To do a full outer join, you need to use anti-syntax. Or go for a clunky workaround. So far, we've fetched all the rows we can according to the join. But sometimes you'll want to filter the rows from one or both of the tables according to other columns. Say, for example, we only want to get the bricks that are cubes. With an inner join, we'll just get the cube bricks and the teddies that are of the same color. But when it comes to outer joins, you need to take care. If you're outer joining the teddies, this is fine. You'll get all the cubes along with all the teddies of the same color. But if you're doing the opposite and outer joining the bricks, how you do the filtering is critical. Do this in the WHERE clause, and your query is an inner join again. To preserve the outer join, you need to filter the bricks in the JOIN clause for ANSI queries. If you're using Oracle syntax, you need to put the PLUS operator on all the columns of the outer join table. So far, we've just looked at joining two tables together, but you can combine as many as you want. However many tables you're working with, get comfortable with joins. They're one of the most powerful features of SQL and the relational model. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more about database development and see SQL magic.